Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video about the matching pennies problem and its significance as a model of sequence prediction. In some of my previous videos, I've described the significance of sequence prediction. In a nutshell, predicting the future is important for agents who want to understand the consequences of their actions in order to enable them to choose between them. Intelligent agents typically devote much of their brain power to this kind of task. Sequence prediction is a general abstract model of prediction. The problem is equivalent to stream compression, which is a classical computer science problem akin to searching or sorting. Sequence prediction is a good problem to use for measuring the forecasting abilities of intelligent agents. One approach to constructing a prediction component is to automatically breed prediction programs. In this approach, a tournament is held, where many programs compete with each other and attempt to predict each other's actions, and then the winners are used to construct the next generation of programs. Players simultaneously choose one of rock, paper or scissors, and then win or lose according to this table of payoffs. The game is then iterated repeatedly. Though there is a chance element, this is essentially a game of skill. It's often possible to systematically win by identifying patterns in your opponent's responses. There are annual championships of rock, paper, scissors, which look like this. I don't know what to think from okay. Jamie anymore. Jamie got so what he was looking for and is now one throw away from the title. <laughs> now that may look like good sportsmanship, but they're one really one trying to fill out a track. tell. Great RPS players can do that, Trey. Borne's exhausted, but he's still mind-numbing here. Please. Asking for paper. Engage! And it Super works! He ties paper. it up! One set apiece! It does not get any closer than this. Wow. RPS for the ages! Ready? Never will a champion be so envied Ready and so this? ridiculed simultaneously. Nice clean throw now. Engage! Go oh, Rock tie. Wow, rock these tie. players are obviously tired. You know, Rock is less strenuous. It's a preformed right throw. These players have punched themselves out. Please, please. And let's see what happens here. Engage. Scissors, Scissors tie. tie. Tremendous stuff. RPS is a game of patterns, and you're seeing that right here. But who can break the pattern and win it all? Engage. Oh, Jamie sticks with scissors. He's on the verge of making history. What a clutch throw. This is what it's all about, baby. These are the moments where sports legends are made. If Jamie wins this throw, it's over. Look at the concentration. Sweet. Ready? Engage. And paper there it is. Rock. The paper heard around the world. Jamie Landshark Langridge has done the unthinkable. Odessa, Texas, pop your collar. There have also been numerous computer tournaments oriented around playing rock, paper, scissors over the years. However, there is a simpler abstract game which it seems to make more sense to use with computer tournaments, namely the matching pennies game. That game reduces the number of possible plays down from three to two, just heads and tails. One player, the matcher, tries to copy the state of the opponent's penny, while the other player, the mismatcher, tries to create a mismatch between them, and the setup is similar to rock, paper, scissors, so players play simultaneously, and then the matcher tries to create a situation where the two pennies are matched, so there's two um, zeros, or alternatively, two ones, like that. Um, and then the mismatcher, um, they would rather have this situation, a one and a zero, or a zero and a one, like that. As with rock, paper, scissors, um, becoming good at the game necessarily involves the ability to identify patterns in your opponent's responses. You have to predict what your opponent is thinking, and if your opponent is doing the same, you have to predict what they predict that you're thinking. This is reminiscent of the scene with the Sicilian in the movie The Princess Bride. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink, and find out who is right and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I'm not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You made your decision then? <laughs> not remotely. Because Iocane comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely peopled with criminals. And criminals are used to having people not trust them, as you are not trusted by me, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. 
Wait till I get going. Where was I? Australia. Yes, Australia. And you must have suspected I would have known the powder's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. The matching pennies game resembles some real-world situations. For example, penalty shootouts. There, the goalie dives to the left or to the right, and the kicker shoots to the left or to the right. If they both go in the same direction, then the goalie may save, whereas if there's a mismatch, then the kicker may score. In the matching pennies game, draws become impossible, and only winning or losing are possible outcomes. At first, it may seem that the players are following different asymmetrical strategies, but in fact, there's a nice symmetry between them. Any matcher can be turned into a mismatcher by simply inverting signals in the sensory channel which tells them what, what it is that their opponent just played. Matching pennies has a mixed strategy, Nash Equilibrium, which consists of playing randomly. If both players follow this strategy, then neither can benefit from deviating from it. However, that doesn't mean that the best way to play the game is to play randomly. Random play fails to exploit stupid opponents, and that's important in tournaments, or where you're playing against suboptimal opponents, perhaps opponents that have been mutated or something like that. Matching pennies has another problem. It only gives a prediction, and not a forecast. In other words, what you usually want when predicting the future is not a best guess at what will happen, but rather a probability distribution over all the available possible outcomes. This can be neatly resolved by having both the players act as bookies, and then make them set odds on the opponent's play in each round. They then accept bets, fixed bets in each round, and the payout is then made according to the system of payoffs that I described in a previous video on this same topic. To leave the dynamics of the game largely unchanged, the opponent doesn't get to see the odds or the payouts, and just gets to see the state of their opponent's coin in each round. There don't currently seem to be any very significant computer prediction prizes or tournaments. There is a compression prize, but it's a file compression prize rather than stream compression. And that's not so relevant. And also it deals with one file type, whereas a general purpose system seems more desirable. So an obvious thing to do is to set up some computer prediction tournaments. If that is done, I think it should probably be based around the matching pennies game. For the sake of maximum simplicity, and for the sake of encouraging participation, I think that the betting scheme above should probably not be used initially in the protocol of any early tournaments. Let's just play the matching pennies game to start with. Enjoy!